Hey guys, how he's going today? I've got a rocket stove I made ages ago. I'm just doing a modification to the rocket stove. I'm putting a fan on it, just sort of turbocharging my rocket stove. Okay guys, this is my rocket stove I built well, ages ago. I made it ages ago. It's just out of RHS. So pretty much, it's just an L shape. I cut a hole out inside there. I don't know if that comes through or not, but inside there there's a hole. So pretty much cut out the RHS out on a 45, welded it together, cut a hole out this part, welded this on. It's out of pretty heavy material. Guys, it's rough looking. It's what I had laying around the house. Um, I'm gonna actually turbocharge this rocket stove. So what I'm gonna do, it's all I've done, I've got a door hinge screwed it onto this fan. This is just a 12 volt fan they use in um, computers to cool computers down. Ventilation fans, like little, to ventilate little areas, like in your caravan for your battery compartment or behind your fridge, whatever, you know, somewhere where you need ventilation. They throw out a fair bit of air. What my plan is, put that there. So I'll screw that onto there. Then they screw it onto there. I can Pull that down, turbocharge the rocket stove. This is just for shits and giggles, guys. It's nothing spectacular. I've seen these rocket stoves, and I just thought I'd put a fan on it just to, just for a laugh, um, and see how it goes. So first of all, I'm going to just put a couple of holes in this. So what I'll do now, I'll deburr that. Okay, what I'll do, I'll screw that under there. Okay, now I'll put this door hinge onto this fan. Just put a couple of screws on, I'll screw it onto this fan. What I'll do now, Get a measurement. I'll screw it around that height there. So, okay, guys, there's the fan. I hope I got that on the right way around. Put that in there, positive, negative. Oh, look at that, that's a fluke. It's spinning the right way. So I put that down there like that. That's forcing air into the stove. So if I want less air, I just lift that up. So there's my turbocharger for my rocket stove. All right. So yeah, so if I want a full, full air, I'd put that all the way down and I just sort of put that partially down. You can feel the air coming out up here. The fuel goes in here, so I put the wood in there and the air in it. Boil your water, do whatever with minimal amount of um, wood. To put a few twigs in there, you can just do it on little twigs, guys. Um, there are plenty of videos on these on YouTube. I'm just doing this just to um, for an experiment, just to see how it goes with the um, the fan. So yeah, I'll put one of these plugs on it just for the power. Okay, there's a plug. Not gonna worry about a switch, guys. If I wanna turn it off, just unplug it. So there it is. She's a goer. I'll take it out now, light a fire and try it out. Put your fuel on the side here. And there you go. You turn the fan off.
it slows it down if you want it to get hotter turn the fan on these fans are only cheap on ebay guys they're running 12 volt fans probably blowing a bit fast so i'll just lift the fan up a bit On a bit of water. So there you go, guys. One fan or turbocharged rocket stove. Want to burn hotter? Tilting it down. That burns pretty fast, guys. You put the fan right down. She goes. She roars. She's roaring now. Goes pretty well with that fan, guys. Goes really, really good. Mm. It burns quite hot, guys. It really does. It's almost boiling now. Simply just cut that on hinge. I'm going to slow the speed down, just lift the fan up a bit, and that just gives a bit of air. It's going to make it go fast. You put the fan right down, it forces the air straight into the fire, and it makes it burn really, really hot. Alright, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you like this video, eh? Cheers, bye.